Hello everybody, I'm Jawad Zulfaghari and I'm going to present our paper Class Balanced Active Learning for Image Classification. Active learning aims at reducing the annotation effort and it performs in several cycles. At the beginning, the model is trained on the initial label set. Then this model is used to select a small set of samples via an acquisition function, which is the main difference between active learning methods. Then selected samples are queried to the oracle for labeling and added to the label set. This cycle is repeated until the annotation budget is exhausted. The main approaches in active learning are informativeness and representativeness. Informativeness implies selecting samples that are either uncertain or dissimilar to the other labeled samples. It usually uses a posterior probability of the model. Representativeness, however, query samples that well represent the distribution of input data and avoid sampling the outliers, and it considers the relationship between the samples in the feature space. In our work, we focus on real-world datasets that are often imbalanced. In the distribution of labels, we see many samples are populated in some classes while very few samples are available in other classes. The Imbalanced datasets range from image recognition to object detection and semantic segmentation. There are also critical applications where the existing datasets are heavily imbalanced, such as autonomous driving and medical diagnosis. To produce imbalanced datasets for our experiments, we reserved 10% of the data as initial label set and we created an imbalanced dataset with the remaining 90% by removing randomly samples from half of the classes. The imbalance factors on top of the distributions in indicate the number of samples in the minority class divided by the number of samples in the majority class. So when the imbalance factor is lower, the imbalance is heavier. What motivated us to consider the class balanced active learning is the distribution of samples selected by active learning methods when the dataset is imbalanced. In the background, you see the imbalanced dataset in yellow. We observe that the entropy and k-center greedy as informative and representative active learning methods tend to pick more samples from more frequent classes. And when we train the model on biased samples, its predictions will be biased toward majority classes. Assuming the test dataset is uniform, we propose to reduce the imbalance in the selected samples by using the probability matrix given by the model. In the probability matrix P, the rows correspond to the unlabeled samples and the columns correspond to the categories. If we select all the unlabeled samples, our sampling is imbalanced. Therefore, we look for an optimal selection such that the class distribution becomes balanced. To do so, we minimize the distance between the class distribution of samples and the uniform distribution. Although we want the samples to be balanced, we want them to be informative as well. To this aim, we use entropy to measure the informativeness of samples. Then we incorporate it in the cost function and minimize the combination of entropy loss and balancing loss. We solve the optimization problem for several lambda values and plot the values of the two terms. The samples selected with greater lambda are more balanced, but at the cost of lower entropy, which is not favorable for us. So there is a trade-off between balancedness and entropy of samples. Here we see the accuracy of model on Cypher 10 and Cypher 100 with several imbalance factors. The dashed lines represent the baselines and solid lines represent the addition of class balancing to the baselines. The plot shows that the class balance methods improve the baselines, especially on the datasets that are heavily imbalanced. To conclude, we studied the influence of class imbalance on the performance of active learning methods. We propose an optimization-based method for class balancing. Our method is general and can be combined with both informativeness and representativeness criterion. Extensive experiments show that our method improves existing active learning methods. The code of this paper is available in this link. Thank you.